ephemeral. The e ephemeral. Ephemeral. The ephemeral dreamer. We're back again to play some games. So the first episode of Ikiman Sengoku, we we met Nobunaga. Yeah. And his um right hand man. I forgot his name. Um the purple haired guy. The pretty purple haired guy. We met him. And um we saved him from the fire and also that guy that was about to kill him. So, um we're kind of war heroes. Somebody just screamed outside. Before we start, I want to show off a piece of fan art that someone made for me. This art was made by an underage artist. I'll put their name right here. And they made it out of char white charcoal and graphite, which is super cool. And I used to work with charcoal and graphite, so I really like the way this looks. I really love, <laughs> I really love when you guys make fan art of me. It's so cute. I love this so much. Make sure you follow me on my social media. It's always in the description below. Um, like, comment, subscribe, because we are so close to a thousand subscribers. So please, 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 please subscribe and we can get started. And there goes that beat again. Oh, we're somewhere different. Or were we here before? I don't know. Once I finished changing, I stepped out of the tent. Mitsunari. Nari. Mitsunari. Guided me to the center of the hastily assembled camp. Wait right there. <laughs> I said purple hair. He has gray hair and wears purple. <laughs> Wait right there. I'll bring you a warm cup of good, clean water to clean your throat. With Mitsunari gone, the only other person nearby was Nobunaga. You clean up well. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried to let it go, but the way they fade in. <laughs> Just face first. Okay, anyway. Never a good at complimenting people, is he? I didn't care for the way his eyes lingered on me. I turned and kept my gaze on the entrance, waiting through Mitsunari. The smoke from the temple was starting to clear. Mitsunari's troops must have put out the fire. It's certainly easier to breathe now. I took a breath of cool night air. Someone parted the curtains and entered camp, but it wasn't Mitsunari. Hey, who is you? He looks like the ocean. My lord, I see you are well. Mitsuhide. Mitsuhide? Mitsuhide Ikechi? The person who betrayed. Ah, dang. <laughs> Mitsuhide, Mitsuhide Akechi, the person who betrayed Minobunaga and started this whole incident. I hurried here and heard about the attack, but it seems there is nothing to worry about. You were, you came here to kill him, that's why you came, you weren't worried. The secretive schemer, Mitsuhide Akechi. You worry? Don't make me laugh. I've never even seen you sweat. As I watched Nobunaga smile at the man, I knew us I knew as his betrayer, another person burst through the curtains. Lord Nobunaga, are you injured? Hideyoshi, the only injury I suffer is my pride in letting my assailant escape. I see. Eloquent Altruist, Hideyoshi Toyotomi. And now Hideyoshi Toyotomi shows up? Aren't we outspoken? Have we met? Uh oh. Did I say that out loud? Well, it's not like I expected to meet two of Japan's unifiers both in the same night. Let her be. 
Her name is Lauren. Oh, and yes, she saved my life. Yeah, you better, you better tell them that. Uh-oh. You saved Nobunaga's life? Yeah, I stopped your plan. <laughs> I think it was his plan. And you're such a slen slender. Who, who are you talking to? And you're such a slender thing. But it appears your courage makes up for that. That's a scary smile. I hope I didn't just get added to someone's list. Mr. Hide, what are you doing here? I was wondering the same thing. I didn't know you were here in Kyoto. What about the campaign? Campaign. When I heard about the threat on Lord Nobunaga's life, I dropped everything and came here. But I never heard anything about you being in Kyoto. Are you implying something? Can you swear before our lord you weren't plotting anything? Mizuhide didn't answer him. The two locked eyes, tension filled the space between them. Hideyoshi is already suspicious that Mizuhide is responsible for the attack. You see that guy on Mizuhide's, uh, hip? Boy, don't play. If I find you played any part in this attack on our lord, Mizuhide, I'll show you no mercy. I don't think it was him. What? Wait, why am I? Wasn't it? I really don't want to get between them then again. I don't want to see bloodshed either. I caught a glimpse of the man who attacked Nobunaga, um, Lord Nobunaga, but the drape of his clothes were all wrong. Plus, Mitsuhide is spotless. I didn't know who it was, but Mitsuhide wasn't in that temple. Lauren, was it? Stay out of this. We'll solve things with you later and learn why you schemed to get so close to Lord Nobunaga. Excuse me? I was there by chance. I'm not the schemer here. Enough, Hideyoshi. Enough, Hideyoshi. Regardless of what brings me to Hida here, I'm alive and well. My apologies, Lord Nobunaga. Hideyoshi, Mr. Hida, give us a moment. I have something to discuss with Lauren. With me? Hideyoshi and Mr. Hide step aside as Nobunaga approached. Your body lies. Your body. Oh. Your bolt lies about coming from the future aside. You saved my life. Let's call me a liar. I'm intrigued by you. You're a woman who carries fortune's favor. Of that I am certain. I could argue that. My eyes widen. Nobunaga has slipped one arm around my waist, drawing me possessively towards him. How would you like to rule the world at my side? Uh, I don't really know you. There are more options. Oh, I'll get back to you later. <laughs> hey, who's that up there? At the very top. I didn't even see him. Um, anyway. <laughs> when Nobody like a strong arm around my waist, this offer ringing in my ears, rationality crumbled around me. Sorry, but I can't. I'm starting my dream job really, really soon, and well, bye. What? <laughs> you found being rejected? I pulled his arm off and began running. Hideyoshi and Mitsuhide called after me, but that wasn't gonna stop me. Grabbing my purse on my way out, I fled the small camp. Bye, I guess. <laughs> ah, that's <laughs> I was just talking about you. Scourge of the Sea. Motonari Mori. Ha, so that's how it ends. Looks like I came all the way here for nothing. Thought I'd see a party, not that sad excuse for a show. Inhaling the acid smoke as though it were perfume, the man grinned widely. Huh. For a dead man like me, your little campfire lacks the sweet smell of gunpowder. Well, you can start celebrating now, Nobunaga. I'm coming back, and I'm bringing the worst the world has to offer with me. In the forest? I ran. You know you're not supposed to run into a forest. Ran to a nearby forest, stopping only when the when it was quiet around me. 
I've run pretty far. I think I may be safe. Wait, safe from what? I'm still in the past, stuck in this crazy time period alone and surrounded by a madman and in the forest. Nobunaga's alive and Mizuhide's coup hasn't happened. That means history has changed. I could not have stood there and let Nobunaga die, but now there's no telling what the repercussions of my actions will have in the future. Just then, I heard a small, just then I heard a soft clang of rings and the sound of dry leaves being crushed under someone's foot. Young lady, what are you doing in the woods this late at night? A weather looking man with a chiseled face walked towards me smiling. A Buddhist monk? I am, what are you doing in the forest? I am called Ken, Kenyo, Ken, Kenyo, and I am a traveling monk. Perhaps I can be of assistance to you. Fugu Titan, Kenyo. The Avenging Warrior Monk. Thank you, but no thanks. I'm fine on my own. I'm not. <laughs> but I got a bad feeling about this guy. You should return home quickly. Demons are con- DEMONS! You should return home quickly. Demons lurk in the woods at night. When Lauren was out of sight, a youthful looking man stepped out of the why are these people in the forest? When Lauren was out of sight, a youthful looking man stepped out of the shadows without a sign to signal his approach. Ramaru, what are you doing back here? Oh, snap. I'm sorry, Master Kenyo, but I don't think I can stay with them after what I- Ramaru, that's nonsense. You performed your role at Hanoji Well. I witness myself how much the Devil King trusts you. The young man flinched at the word trust. It was only because of that woman we had to retreat, but a chance to strike him down will come again. I, d I don't think I can. Ramaru, have you forgotten what they did? Have you forgotten your oath? Not once, Master Kenya. Do not fear you'll be discovered. You have a gift. Your charms as a blessing from Buddha. Now smile for me, Ramaru. It has been so long since I saw you smile. I'll return and fulfill my mission, Master. If you're sure that's what you want. Clutching my purse to my chest and squeezing my eyes shut, I ran, desperately wishing I could make this all go away. Watch it! I fell backwards onto the man, sending us both to the ground. Out! Sorry. A well-built well man with a handsome face was lying below me like an unhappy cushion. Better get off him. Whoa, are you crazy? Don't move. As I stood up, he did too, grabbing me from behind. Wind coming up from a great death before me tugged out my hair. Yikes, I'm on a cliff. That is some drop. That was close. Thanks for saving me. I turned around his arms, our noses brushed together, and I realized just how close his light brown eyes were. Uh, um, I don't need thanks. Just give me some space, will ya? R right. I guess I was staring, but he really was good looking. Hey, I'm not mad at you, okay? Sorry for being kind of rough. Come on, I'll help. He was smiling now, and this time he offered me his hand. Thanks. He comes off a little awkward, but I feel like I can trust him. I took his hand, he led the two of us away from the cliff with depth step. So depth steps. What's this? What's this, Yuki? You've been here ten minutes and you've already found yourself a girl? Who is this? Hmm, smoke from Honoji and a woman all alone at night. Perhaps you're a ghost? Though you're the most beautiful ghost I've ever seen. Thanks. <laughs> The Tiger of Kai Shingen Takeda I'm actually quite normal. I mean, normal for a person, not a ghost. With his narrow, flirtatious eyes on mine, I faltered brushing off the compliment. Two more men joined us on the cliff. Hey, what's good? Your ability to dispute, your ability to dispute cheap pickup lines never ceases to amaze me. 
Uesugi Kenshin. The God of War. He has two different eye colors. The God of War, Kenshin Uesugi. I just call it like I see it, Kenshin. And another one. Why y'all all live out here in the woods? You there, could you please step into the light? Thank you. Sure, I... Hey, give me a minute. With a fine hand, the man drew me into the moonlight. I saw the beauty of his fingers extend to my face. The... Ephemoral... The Ephemoral... The e Ephemeral. Ephemeral. The Ephemeral Dreamer, Yoshimoto Imagawa. The Ephemeral Dreamer, Yoshimoto Imagawa. Yuki pulled Yoshimoto, Yoshimoto away, and as though my fairy tale clock had struck midnight, I found myself back on the cold, dark cliffs. First Shigen, then Kenshin, now Yoshimoto. They're all famous names too. Could they be? Another man arrived at the edge of the thicket. Strangely, his footsteps didn't make a sound. He's a ninja, a yep. Isn't this guy, um... I could be wrong, but isn't that the guy from the beginning of the game? My lord. I've returned. Nobunaga's forces have extinguished the fire at Honoju. Dressed for camouflage and ease of movement, with close fitting layers that won't rustle. He's an actual ninja. You. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. Do you know this woman? No, I was mistaken. Lord, don't hide the fact that you know me. Help me out. Help me. Oh, I spotted a village on the way here. She must be from there. I'll escort her home. Moving quickly, aren't we, Sasuke? You and Yoshimoto both? Give the rest of us a chance, will ya? Lord Shinigen. Lord Shinigen, please. You and the others should return to the city. Yeah, what are you guys doing out here in the forest? Excusing himself, the ninja took my hand and led me back towards the forest. Hold on, you've got it wrong. I'm not from the village or anywhere near here. I know, I've been waiting for you. And what does he mean by that? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> um, that was a lot of characters being introduced. What they were all doing in the forest, I do not know. We also got introduced to the bad, bad guys. This is the war, so I don't know who's the, if there's a bad guy. There's probably not. Everybody has a reason for fighting. There was that guy just sitting alone in the house just looking down upon everybody who is I guess he hates Nobunaga and the monk I guess him the monk and that purple haired little guy that the monk was talking to the one who tried to kill Nobunaga from the first episode I guess they're all working together and then we have the one guy who's supposed to that betrays Nobunaga we have him working by himself, maybe? I don't think he's part of the other three. You know, I don't know who's fighting who. <laughs> but it's very interesting. And the ninja, the ninja. What was he doing in our world? And how did I get caught up here? I don't know. So thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on social media, it's always in the description below. And I will see you guys tomorrow with A3. Bye-bye.